Hey everybody, Green Bull here again, talking about... Actually, back up. Hey everybody, just want to talk quickly about hay bags, actually. Um, talking about winter care for horses, or even summer care, it actually doesn't really matter. But uh, it's very important that your horses are always eating. They've always got something to eat, whether that means they're out in a pasture and they've got grass and all kinds of things kind of to munch on and stuff like that. Um, but if they don't, which most of our horses don't, uh, where they're in paddocks or stalls, you want to be able to keep them uh, munching on something. Uh, in the wintertime especially because it keeps them warm. And then of course just 365 days a year because it uh, helps uh, with ulcers if they've got them. Keeps ulcers away if they don't have them uh, because there's always going to be something in their tummy. So I was just in the middle of sort of doing some hay bags. I thought, well, maybe I would do a quick video about the subject. I know, I'm resting it on your back. I know, I know. It's uncomfortable, but it works really well. So I've got a, I've got a hay bag here that is almost empty, and I'm going to fill it back. This is a hay bag um, that takes a whole bale. And one of the things that we do around here is we put it on a platform uh, because it's very easy for these hay bags to just end up on the ground and the horses will poo on them and they'll pee on them and then you're just you know, cleaning hay bags and getting rid of hay because they won't eat it anymore because horses seem to have zero foresight when it comes to uh, realizing that they've just pooed or peed on their hay. So I'm going to um, quickly explain here. This is just a normal it's it's a uh, it's called a, it's a company called Fat Busters. They uh, they sell these hay nets. Um, they're okay. I I don't generally recommend them because I think that they uh, we already had one that the horses chewed through in about 12 hours, and uh, so they're a little bit weak. If you look at the the thread, it's actually quite thin. I don't know if you can tell. Um, okay, guys. I know when I get down low, you guys just want to snuggle up, but anyway. so. In comparison to another brand that we have here, it's called a Nag Bag. And I don't know if you can tell unless I take this off, so I will. And we'll put it next to this one. And you can see the thickness of these bags compared to this bag, which I guess is kind of, you know, you get what you pay for. Uh, if you see things on sale and you think, you know, oh, it's a pretty good deal. It might be a deal that's too good to be true. Uh, in our case, it was, it was unfortunate, but I mean, I'll do another video talking about how to repair hay bags because it's not like this thing is impervious. Um, horses will get through hay bags. It's one of the things that you have to kind of keep an eye on. It's a pain in the butt, uh, but you do have to repair them once in a while. This one we've had around for years uh, in compared to 12 hours of getting through, uh, you know, this kind of uh, netting. But either way, this one's working okay. Um, the important thing is that they've always got hay to eat. And they've always got something in their tummy. Um, and the bonus for us uh, as owners is we don't have to rush out and make sure that we feed it exactly 9 o'clock or exactly 7 o'clock or exactly 5 o'clock or whatever. Because generally, this thing lasts a few days uh, for our three horses, which is kind of cool. We augment with uh, other hay bags that they can sort of spread out because horses will fight over food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty this thing out, spread it around for them, make it easier for them to eat, and then I'm going to fill this thing up. So we'll come back after I do that.
Okay, so we have the uh, a new bale of hay here inside of the hay bag. You can see it's quite full now. These guys are going to be pretty happy. They're already in here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of having the horses sort of hang around while I'm going to mess with this thing. So I'll actually just move them off. Let's start with this guy. So get going. Keep shoveling. More. Thanks. You're next. Right be here. Just push gently. Back off. And you again. It's okay. Repetition is just good practice. Here you go. Out. Poke, 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 poke. Okay. So now that I'm free to do my work here, uh, which is the safest thing to do when you're feeding horses, make sure they are not hanging around. Here comes another one. I'll just sit back off and sort of get on with the job. Hey. Okay, so once I've got this in place on, on here, um, horses drag stuff around all the time. I got a couple of clips and I just clip it on. It's tied around the wall and, uh, and that's it. So that's uh, that's slow feeder setup that we've got going on. Um, and in such a case, because it's a small hole hay net. Uh, it takes horses a really long time to go through this thing. Uh, this is a low sugar bale of hay. And uh, I'd say this thing probably lasts about two to three days, depending on how delicious this stuff is. This stuff is looking kind of nice and lovely green, so I would assume they're gonna go through it kind of quickly. So maybe a couple days for three horses. And um, it ensures that they've always got food in their tummy. I'm gonna set up a couple other hay bags in different locations because she has trouble getting hay sometimes thanks to these guys. <clears throat> and it's something you have to consider when feeding your horses, um, especially if they're really hungry. Our guys are kinda, I don't know, horses are perpetually hungry, but uh, sometimes if you leave them hungry, they'll, they'll get pretty aggressive and they'll really chase up on their horses and stuff like that. So giving them options to go to different places in the paddock um, can help a lot. See, we've already got this guy coming in and he's going to make sure that she doesn't eat. Just like that. So as an owner, it's our responsibility to say, okay, I can understand that. I'm never going to be able to control this guy. I'm never going to be able to say to him, hey, don't do that anymore because he's always going to just do it. It's just the way it works. So we have to set up other places that the horses that are lower in the herd can go eat. So, they've always got food. He's still telling her to kind of go away. But uh, she hasn't really gone anywhere. But she's hungry. Um, anyways, hay nets. Something important to consider uh, in uh, your, your feeding. I mean, you can do whatever you want. This is what we do. We think it's best uh, because it always keeps food in the tummy, especially in wintertime, keeps them warm, especially for ulcers. If they get them, hind gut problems, he thinks I'm asking them to move. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, it just keeps them keeps them uh, quite well managed nutritionally. So hopefully that uh, that helps a little. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys again soon.